Welcome back for another Litecoin price prediction analysis and in this video I will be sharing my next price targets here on the Litecoin chart and also give you areas that you need to continue holding here on the charts ahead of the Litecoin halving event and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to start the video by first focusing on the fundamental news where we have 14 days 20 hours and 34 minutes at the time of this recording to the litecoin having event which is an event that i'm expecting will bring about a lot of volatility on the charts and maybe see a massive surge here on the litecoin chart and getting back to the charts to give you the technical analysis at the time of this recording, Litecoin is holding below a key area of support at around the $91.35 mark, which is now acting as resistance for us to continue gearing up. We have also lost the 20-day MA here on the 4-hour chart, which is also acting as a resistance. And the moment we see a reversal over here and get above that key area of resistance, we can watch out for a successful retest before we can continue gearing up to the next key area of resistance at around the $97.65 mark. Litecoin has also continued to obey the ADO12 structures and you can see that after seeing our low on the 14th of June at around the $70.86 mark, we started gearing up impulsively obeying the ADO12 structures where we first picked in the formation of this wave 1 so a breakdown move in the formation of that wave 2, then a wave 3, a wave 4, and then the wave 5 giving us a high above the $115 mark. And that move completed the formation of these larger ADO 12 count 1. And after seeing the formation of that first wave, we started gearing, uh, that is seeing a bit of a breakdown move in the formation of these larger ADO 12 count 2. And using the Fibonacci's, connecting them from the low of the first wave, to the high of that wave one, I had a minimum target area for the second wave between the FIB level 0 0.382 and the FIB level 0 0.618 and that is between the $98.14 mark and the $87.75 mark which is the area highlighted on the chart using this red target area which is an area that at the time of this recording we are just about to fully maximize and I'm expecting that Litecoin is going to continue holding within this red target area. See a reaction of the target area to the upper side. See a break above significant highs and areas of resistances. And continue gearing up impulsively in the formation of this wave 3. And giving you minimum target areas for the third wave using a trend based Fibonacci. Connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave i get a minimum target area at the fib of 1.618 and that is at around the 160.92 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect litecoin to do ahead of the litecoin having event once we start gearing up impulsively in the formation of that wave three and in case further breakdown continues then the area that we need to continue holding here on the charts is the area highlighted on the charts using this red target area between the $98.34 mark and the $87.3 mark. And as long as we continue holding above it or maybe within it, chances are we are going to start gearing up impulsively in the formation of this wave 3. And a break out of this red target area to the lower side then there are chances that Litecoin might get us to the next key area of support at around the $82.65 mark. And that is what you can expect on the worst case ahead of the Litecoin having event when most people are expecting a bit of a surge ahead of the Litecoin having event. So that is what I'm watching out here on the Litecoin chart. Also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI, we are trading at around the 36 mark. On the MACD, we have been able to print a bearish cross, though we are seeing a sharp decrease in the selling momentum, suggesting that soon we might be able to print a bullish cross. 
So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I will be keeping you updated.